Now, Uganda's veteran opposition leader, Kiza Besije, who had, has been arraigned in Makindye military court martial, was abducted in Nairobi on Saturday evening as he prepared to attend NAC Kenya leader Martha Karua's book launch. Besije was to be the chief guest at the event and was abducted by a known number of individuals at 108 Riverside, where he had gone to meet someone before briefly heading for Karua's event. And as Duncan Haimba reports, Kenya is once again on the spot just a few days after the abduction and extradition of Turkish nationals who had sought asylum in the country, which begs the question, is Kenya abating cross-human rights violations? It is at this three-block apartment, 108 Riverside, whereby Uganda's veteran opposition leader, Dr. Kiza Besije, was abducted on Saturday afternoon. Uganda's four-time presidential candidate, veteran opposition supremo, Colonel retired Dr. Kiza Besije, landed in Nairobi Saturday morning on November 16th. Landed in Nairobi Saturday morning, November 16th. His mission to grace Martha Karua's book launch as the chief guest, but it turned into him being a guest of the state in Uganda, following his abduction and subsequent extradition to Kampala before being arraigned at Makinde General Court Martial. After touching down at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Besije proceeded to Waridi Paradise Hotel and Suites on Rose Avenue in Hallingham, where he had been booked. A few hours later, he left his hotel for a brief engagement at 108 Riverside in Block C, apartment 1102. Upon arrival, he requested his taxi driver to wait for him so that he could proceed and drop him at Martha Karua's book launch. It was in the apartment whereby unknown persons pounced on him and was clandestinely whisked away without raising any suspicion. His taxi driver who had dropped him at 4 p.m. waited until 4.30 a.m. on Sunday before giving up since his numerous texts were not being responded to. We visited the apartment but could neither be allowed in nor granted CCTV footage on the supervisor's express orders to the caretaker. However, we managed to extract one or two details. So vile uwe taxi and reporter subi kwamba haoni jana wake mkachukua tuwa mkachukua nini kama management. What a source revealed that the opposition luminary had informed his team that he was meeting a Uganda national. His abduction in Kenya's capital comes four months after 36 Ugandan activists associated with him were arrested in Kisumu, taken to Uganda, where they were charged with treason and remanded at Kitalia prison. In October, a British national and four Turkish refugees were abducted and returned to Turkey, sparking condemnation against Kenya by several agencies, among them United Nations Refugee Agency UNHCR, which castigated Kenya for contravening UN's 1951 Refugee Convention. On 16th February 1999, Abdallah Ochalan, the leader of the Kurdish Workers' Party, PKK, was abducted at the Greece Embassy at the Nation Center and dramatically extradited to Turkey, where he is serving a life sentence. In October 2022, a Pakistani investigative journalist, Ashad Sharif, who had sought refuge in Kenya, was killed at a roadblock in Kajado County, which the High Court has ruled that the police unlawfully killed Sharif. Duncan Haemba, NTV.